want to talk about this video game because this video game is I guess you could say problematic I would choose to say outright overtly racist anti-semitic dangerous Russian propaganda so much for once again choosing to spend a little bit of your time with me. In the news today, I need to talk about Atomic Heart, uh, a game that recently came out by a Russian development team called Munfish and has had a little bit of uh, online discourse around it. The sexy robots are coming and already being boycotted. I want to talk about this video game because this video game is, I guess you could say, problematic. I would choose to say outright, overtly racist, anti-Semitic, dangerous Russian propaganda. <laughs> it simply being on Western platforms, it simply being available on the Microsoft Store, currently free to play with Xbox Game Pass, is disgusting. Is absolutely fucking disgusting. First, we need to discuss some anti-Semitic tropes. To quickly explain as well, I've been playing the game myself on stream uh, before I knew about any of the shit around it. I had it recommended to me, I checked it out, I downloaded it through my Xbox Game Pass. I was about to play it and then- we got big news in the gaming world because people are angry about a game that's not Hogwarts Legacy. With a new game in the crosshairs being Atomic Heart, and as far as who's angry, it's Ukraine. We've actually sent a petition to Microsoft, Sony, and Valve to pull it from their digital store, saying they have a few issues with the game, such as it being made by a Russian studio that probably has major ties to the Russian government, with people pointing out that the studio has been pretty quiet about the war in Ukraine, but also the issue that it features a sexualized robot that allegedly resembles a former Ukrainian prime minister. It's also set in a fictionalized and romanticized Soviet Union where every Everything didn't go to shit until the robot uprising that's happened in the game, which for most former Soviet states is not how they remember it or its dream at all. Also for gamers, uh, apparently this has the mood of Bioshock, but in the Eastern Bloc. Also regarding the robots, the resemblance seems to be largely due to the hair, which is a popular traditional style throughout Ukraine. And regarding the studio's silence on the Ukraine war, it's worth noting that because they have employees in Russia, they can't exactly speak freely on the matter if they didn't agree with the war. But whatever the case may be, Ukraine has taken firm measures to limit the game's reach there, like removing physical copies from stores or asking digital stores to not offer it there. But it's not just limited to Ukraine with one official saying. We also urge limiting the distribution of this game in other countries due to its toxicity, potential data collection of users, and the potential use of money raised from game purchases to conduct a war against Ukraine. By looking online, most of the discussion about this game are just people on Twitter like super thirsty about the robots. Like people really want to fuck them some robots. Also, in certain corners of the internet, uh, people are like, yeah, I'm really glad this game showed women how they should be, which, by the way, it really just seems like you want something that resembles a woman you can put your dick in and not not a woman. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, quick note from editing Pete here, just to say, uh, <laughs> booted my PC up. Um, was doing some editing this video. In fact, uh, hit render, uh, and rendering was going a bit slow. So I thought I'd check out the old task manager as you do. For some reason, haven't played it today. Fresh boot up of the PC. There was this atomic heart process running, taking up. 18 megabytes of memory, just a huge amount, obviously, but uh, large enough that it was near enough to the top that I noticed it. Um, I have no idea what Atomic Heart dash Win GDK dash shipping application is or does. Game Chat 2.dll, xcurl.dll. I have no idea what these things are, what they do, but if this is data harvesting or fucking crypto mining or whatever, I would not be surprised. Checking out my app history, I also saw within the network section, boom, Atomic Heart having for some reason over the last like 24 or 48 hours, um, having used 5.5 megabytes of data. Uh, now that was definitely not the 15 gigabyte update. Don't know. Very sussy that this was running. That this auto started. Very sussy. And I was like, ooh, 
there could be some uh, oopsies about this game. Let's do a bit of a bit more research. And I made the decision that I would play the game, but I'd play the game as though I was delivering a university lecture. Every contentious issue that would arise within the game, I would discuss, point out, and try to educate upon. This has not proved an easy task as the game is desperately attempting to sell you this idea of look how amazing the world would be if not for American imperialism. Why is it just filling me with in-game lore? I don't care. Okay, I get it. Dr. Chelemy and Margany and bloody blah have created all this great stuff. I don't give a shit. But what is the point in all of this other than to say, look at what Russia could have done if not for Western imperialism. Haha. <laughs> What is this fucking game? Yet, yeah, imagine if you just left it down to good old fashioned Soviet communism. Look how great the world could be. It's a strange experience. And throughout it, things have been getting steadily more and more problematic. Until it reached a, an apex just now, where I accidentally clicked upon one of the game's in game tutorial style videos. See, in the game, there is a horny fridge. Everybody loves talking about the horny fridge. German dominatrix, Frauleiner, horny fridge. I think is actually a vending machine. That's the upgrade system in the game. What nobody's been talking about are the videos within that upgrade system. And I want to talk about those videos. But to do that correctly, first, as I say, I need to discuss the anti-Semitic tropes. Throughout history, but especially over the last sort of 200 years of print history, Jews have been portrayed in a number of vile and disgusting manners. Very consistently across the board, you can see examples from the late 19th century, from the Middle Ages to the modern era. Anti-Semites frequently portrayed Jews as vermin and various other animals, especially pigs because Judaism considers pigs unclean and forbids the consumption of pork. This statue depicts three pigs in traditional Jewish garb sitting on a bench in Karlsbad, Czechoslovakia, a popular spa town frequented by pre-war European Jewry. We see illustrations of blood libel, we see big noses, we see beady little eyes, always with the big hooked noses and beady little eyes, pointed ears, Often we will come across, as we explore the anti-Semitic tropes and images, we'll come across tropes such as the vampire, images depicting a vampire feeding the Jewish press to unsuspecting Germans. The image contains classic imagery associated with vampires, the cape, the long spindly fingers, the bumps on the forehead as horns, and a cauldron. The concept of the Jewish banker is often depicted as a grotesque fat man with a cigar and hooked nose. The anti-Semitic image emanates largely from the forgery of the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, which solidified the anti-Jewish canard of the Jew as a homogenous group, as rich and all-powerful. From Nazi imagery blaming Jewish bankers for the fall of Germany to modern cartoons depicting Jewish bankers as causing economies to fail and creating poverty. That's right, you're not Hitler, you're not a Nazi, you don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I... I see, I, I see good things about Hitler also. Images of the corrupter, where Jews are portrayed as the ultimate corrupter, degrading society, the white race, Aryan women's societal values and spreading corruption throughout. The presentation of a stereotypical Jew, fat with a large nose, seeks to indicate a form of wealth, especially in times of poverty and famine. As with many forms of anti-Semitic imagery, this depiction emanates from the protocol of the elders of Zion, which specifically alleged Jews conspired to undermine society. This form of anti-Semitic imagery portrays Jews as corruptors of society, creating wars, using pornography to degrade values, using and controlling education to corrupt children, corrupting religion, destroying traditional family values, and spreading gossip. I want us to keep some of these ideas and pieces of imagery in our minds as we now have a look at this fucking video game and the tutorial videos that can be found within it. And if you think this is funny, what I'm about to show, then I leave your comment be a troll i'm not going to say you're a nazi you're probably not but i need to spend more time explaining this and i'm not going to be able to explain it in this video i don't have the emotional energy to i am i'm scared
in the game you'll come across regularly these. People keep calling them fridges, but that's definitely a vending machine, guys. And everyone just cares about the fact that they're horny. Is this- what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Fuck me! Oh, what a stun! I can't get enough jumps. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. No, no need to fight back, sugar. Oh, you're gonna love this. What is Don't happening? Dominant men really turn me on. What am I doing? This is not I the sex scene her. that I was expecting, I'm trying, I'm nor trying. did I want. She's one strong ass bitch. First of all, what can I even fuck? Like, not not saying that I'm not open to it. You know what I mean? Crispy critters. I'm here to Crispy. help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. Stop. And believe me, handsome, I'll service you however you want. I just, I Got feel so sword? dirty. <laughs> I care more about the fact that when we click on this menu, we are given our upgrade tree. And similarly to something like Fallout, this game uses cartoon artwork to depict and show things. Now, it was so small and in the background that I never really paid attention. But I accidentally clicked on one of these things here. And what I saw made me very upset. Beset on all sides, lost in the dark. Fry your foes in a shower of sparks. By the way, there's Karl Marx statues and, and Lenin statues and stuff all throughout the game and that's fine, but it's just a bit strange to see a uh, anti-Semitic Jewish stereotype being crushed to death by the bust of Karl Marx. Are there fat cats thwarting the people's will? Just cool them off with an icy chill. So there we get to see a anti-Semitic Jewish stereotype killed by his own frozen piss. Now, the developers um, actually uh, I think on day two or day three of this game being out, thanks to some backlash against certain cartoons within the game, released a uh, patch that I couldn't play the game without installing the 15 gigabyte patch um, when it actually let me play the game, which has removed the cartoons in the save rooms that apparently feature racist, apparently featured raci racist depictions of black men in them. Um, so that got removed, guys. Yeah. So, thing is, editing Pete here to say, um, the way this game has been compiled and stuff is absolute trash, and the videos are still within the game files. Um, doesn't even take, like, any particular degree of data mining skill or anything. You just browse the files and you will find all the videos that are in the game, um, including all of the episodes of Nupogadi that have been removed. It seems all they did was, where it says TV clips, this folder has been replaced with a blank which is now what's showing on the tvs so it must be accessing that folder to show stuff on the tvs and all the new poggity files have just been put in this folder now um which means it's all still there to watch um there's 43 episodes i think i'll be watching those on stream soon uh so fun times <laughs> It gets worse.
Pick things up and let them fly. When the motherland calls, it's do or die. You know, they're trying to be funny. You can see the, 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 the attempt to be sort of like Fallout's sort of aesthetic and style of humor with the, the Vault Boy or, you know, just of that kind of era of cartoons or whatever. But um, there was no need for the, uh, the disgusting, disgusting, horrific anti-Semitism. And if you're not convinced it's anti-Semitic yet, just keep watching. When it comes to matter, the polymer is king. In the people's hands, it can do anything. If you don't think these fat cat bankers that look like pigs with beady little eyes and pointy ears and vampire teeth or anti-Semitic tropes, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, hey, Marks. Violence is not the Soviet way. Kill all violent people. Kill them today. I think what I'm trying to say is I don't have an issue if you want to play this game for yourself, if you want to see what this game is about and want to experience it for yourself. The ones I have an issue with are American publishing studios and American platforms like Microsoft and Steam allowing this disgustingly anti-Semitic propaganda shamelessly, overtly anti-Semitic propaganda to be on their platforms in the middle of a fucking war by the side that published this fucking game. You want to play it and experience the weird, weird, shitty, bug-ridden, color palette, dead, shitty game that this is. The awful rip-off of Bioshock Infinite with mech design stolen from Nier Automata that this is. If you want to experience that for yourself, fair enough. But please play it with a bit of an awareness that this is fucking disgusting. And Microsoft, Steam, whoever the fuck has this on their platforms, whoever the fuck Microsoft paid the development team so that they could release this as part of Xbox Game Pass for free. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Absolutely ashamed. You're as bad as Kanye fucking West and Alex Jones. You pathetic pieces of shit. Thank you so much for watching loungers. Um, like, subscribe, Twitch TV every day. Twitch.tv slash Grandas Lounge. And, um... Fuck you, Microsoft. Peace. Also, I'd like to put out an open request to any Russian speakers um, to, like, jump on stream with me at some point whilst I'm playing to try and break down uh, and explain to me and translate what the posters are all truly saying. Because most of the posters in the video games, but all of the posters in the video games, when you look at them, it'll come up with a little text bubble telling you what the poster says, but there's often way, way, way more text there than what they've actually bothered translating. On top of that, a fair few of the posters in the game are some of the most shocking depictions, yet again, of anti-Semitic artwork that I've ever seen in my life and upsettingly clearly created recently such as this abhorrently distasteful artwork of the 
counter-revolutionary saboteur Trotsky, an Ashkenazi Jew. His hooked nose, beady little eyes, pyrrhic teeth. And he wasn't a counter-revolutionary saboteur. But that's all we get to know about this poster. And meanwhile, there's all this other text on it as well. So open request to anybody that would like to help me uh, understand what's really going on in all the artwork on this game. I suppose all we can do is try to raise awareness of this and do things over here. But God, this is going to affect Jewish people's lives in Russia. This is going to make Jewish people's lives in Russia even worse than they already were. And probably worse everywhere. This degree of subtle indoctrination, brainwashing, programming, it, it's effective. Do play it. Please don't let it affect you without, like, please make sure you do your reading and learning on anti Semitism first because this might be over the top or sound pathetic, but. The ability of propaganda to influence people, especially those sitting on the fence, scares me. Just trying to play the fucking game after fucking recording this segment, getting back on with fucking live streaming and shit. And I can't. This game's fucking crashed. My fucking god! And now I hit the zombie enemy in the game, which is literally creepers. I love creepers. I, I like the uh, Last of Us as well. 